Hey there, y'all. Dave Allred, The Real Barman, here with another restaurant POS review. Today, I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly of the Clover POS system for restaurants so I can help you choose the very best system for you and your restaurant. As we all know, the POS system is the central nervous system of your restaurant, so it's important that you choose wisely. All right, so if you don't know, in these reviews, I basically use my connections to find a restaurant owner I know who's using the POS system I'm reviewing, and then I ask them if I can jump in and get to know it more intimately. All right, I then ask their experience with it, and I also get the reactions from others I know who are using it, as well as online feedback. So we have a complete collaboration of thoughts and opinions, not just mine. All right, does that make sense? At any time, you can click on the link in the description to go check out Clover if you wish. So let's not mess around. Okay, let's jump right in. And let's start off with the good. Okay, we're doing the good, the bad, the ugly. Uh, right off the bat, I'll say that when I used Clover, I liked it. It had a simple and clean interface, and it was simple and easy to navigate. And I was told by the restaurant that allowed me to play with it that it was very easy to set up right out of the box, and that it was very intuitive for, for the employees to use as well. All right, in addition, the integrations are very good, or I should say that the integration options are very good. All right, the Clover App Market has an array of integrations for you to choose from. They will usually have most everything you want and need for an add-on price. But with that said, <clears throat> there are many complaints about the integrations not working correctly or not performing the functions as described. So you're gonna have to take that with a grain of salt. Okay, when it comes to pricing, Clover is fair. All right, and if you look at the pricing, it looks like it's middle of the road compared to other POS systems, but one of the biggest complaints Clover gets is that what you get for your money isn't very, I guess, meaty, I would say, meaning there's not much meat on the bone, and that the upfront costs are considerable. All right, and this is strange considering that Clover itself is adequate, but does nothing to blow you away like some of the other systems out there. All right, and if you get on their website, you'll see that they have a starter, a standard, and an advanced plan, all of which have hefty upfront fees and then monthly software fees as well. All right, and you can also see that they have what is called the Flex Handheld POS, so you can take orders and payments at the table, which is cool, all right? And if you scroll down more, you can see what else you get for each plan, okay? Clover also has the Clover Go app, which means you can take payments right from your smartphone or tablet, Clover apps are available on the Google Play and Apple app stores. And one of the great things about the app is that you don't need hardware to use it. All right, as soon as Clover has processed your merchant account, you can begin taking orders immediately. So that's good. All right, so that's the good or the semi-good parts. It wasn't all perfect there. Unfortunately, it sort of goes downhill from that point, which brings us to the bad and the ugly. All right, and where Clover really goes off the rails all stems back to the company that runs it, which is Fiserv, now called First Data, most likely because they had to switch the name because of the not so amazing reputation they built while being, while being excuse me, uh, while they were called Fiserv. All right, so they had to switch their name. And the problem with companies like First Data that are in charge of POS systems is that they are a merchant account company first and not a POS company first, all right, for the most part. And merchant account companies historically, if you don't know, have incredibly horrendous customer service. I'm not sure why, but First Data is no exception based on online reviews. All right, now another thing I really disliked about Clover is that when you jump on their website, there appears to be no online demo, at least not one that I could find. And for me, it is imperative that you get a demo of the product so you can see how it works and ask questions. All they have on their website is contact sales and then they get you on the phone and try to sell you. That's fine, but as a potential customer, I wanna see how it works. I need visuals, all right? It's a great disservice to not provide a full demo when you're purchasing something this important and this costly. All right, nearly every other POS system has a live demo, so I'm not sure why Clover does not, but they should seriously be flogged for it, all right, with bamboo rods. All right, now when it comes to purchasing Clover, it can be a bit confusing. All right, you can purchase through their website, but you can also purchase through a third-party merchant service company. So they're like a mercenary for hire. All right, and this means besides Clover's crappy software and hardware support, you have to make sure the merchant service provider you choose has good rates, good pricing, good customer service, and you have to be careful or they might sell you some crappy third-rate hardware as well. And let's not forget that every one of these merchant providers that you can choose from is still under the first data umbrella, meaning they are the processor always. 
It's like when you try to boycott one company because you don't like them. So you choose to go with their competitor only to find out they're all owned by the same evil empire. All right, not that First Data is an evil empire necessarily, but as previously mentioned, they do not have the most stellar of reputations. All right, in general, this whole thing is so complicated, it makes me want to step in front of a bus to end the pain. I mean, there are literally hundreds of merchant services where you can purchase Clover, which means you are rolling the dice in hopes that the merchant service provider you choose isn't a giant piece of shit. All right, it's very risky. I'm not sure why First Data makes it so complicated, but they do. All right, now check this out. Seeing as you can purchase Clover through one of many different payment processors, if you purchase it through your processor, you have to use your processor forever. Or if you switch processors, you have to buy a completely new Clover POS system because your original one that's connected to your original processor will no longer work with your new processor. In other words, it's not reprogrammable. Stupid, right? And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, ah, no big deal, Dave. I'll just stay with my current processor. But switching processors could potentially save you thousands of dollars. And why isn't it reprogrammable? All right, I have no idea, so I contacted First Data by chat and by phone, and neither one had an answer for me. I received the, ah, that's just the way it is, deal with it response. I also contacted First Data's press department to ask why, and they never responded, so they aren't invited to my POS party. All right, now let's get to support. And this probably won't be a big surprise to any of you, and I don't want to say the support is awful because I don't want to be mean, but there's just no getting around it. Overall, the support is awful. And there are a boatload of comments from customers describing how rude and evasive the customer service is. And Clover has shown very little effort to remedy the problem at all. And I had contacted them at one point, and I couldn't get a response. Now, as I always say, the POS industry in general struggles with customer support. So it's difficult to find any one company that's perfect. But you need them to be at least somewhat consistent. And at the very least, friendly. I mean, if you're a large corporation with thousands of clients, I get it. All right, it's difficult to hire enough staff to answer back in a timely manner, but when they do contact you back, it's so easy to be friendly. That's something that can be controlled, but this does not describe the Clover support team at all. So if customer support is important to you, as it should be, move along, little doggy. It ain't going to happen. All right, they do have a help center with guides and materials, but this is very thin and it should not be a replacement for real support. All right, in addition... I have also heard of multiple complaints that after closing the Clover account, that Clover is still taking money from the businesses. I've seen the word scam used many times. On the website Trustpilot, a well-renowned customer re review site, cu get this, Clover has a staggering 73% one-star ratings, making their average 1.1 stars. That's unbelievable. And in case you're bad at math, that's nearly three out of four people giving them one star. All right, people are pissed about Clover on there. And as a comparison, just so you don't think uh, Trustpilot is a bunch of skeptics, Upserve, my top rated POS system, has a rating of 4.6 stars, and Toast, which is also very popular, has 4.0 stars. So there you go. It's just a little more feedback from a different source. All right, as far as Clover reporting goes, it's fine, but it's very basic. So if you're someone who likes to view reports to make intelligent business decisions and make more money, all right, Clover reporting, will, you know, it's going to be a little sparse for you, all right? But it does have all the basics. So in the end, all right, my overall view of Clover, it's a good solution for smaller businesses if you want to keep it basic and you want an easy to set up and easy to use system. All right, they also do have a good payment processing system and good fees. All right, however, there are also a lot of problems hitched to this Clover train. All right, the more you have going on in your business, the more problems you run into. And unfortunately, Clover struggles to help you solve those complex problems, both technology-wise as well as in-person support. Okay, so my real barman rating for Clover is 3.2 stars out of 5. Not the worst in the world, just not the cream of the crop when it comes to the POS world. Okay, the system itself, it's not bad. It's pretty good to use, but the people behind it, a little sketchy. All right, so I hope this helped answer some questions, clear up some things. If you're looking into Clover, if you want to see my top POS systems, you can click here. Either way, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm going to see you next time. I'm out.